production is part of the Game Fire Network. Netcast for gamers by gamers. Welcome to Game Fire. Welcome one, welcome all, welcome to another exciting episode of Tales of Heroes right here on the Game Fire Network, www.gamefire.com. And uh, we welcome you to episode number 56, and I am proud to say that this is actually an episode in which I am participating. That's right, uh, I am participating in another Tales of Heroes here. I uh, played this match just about two days ago. We're still on, uh, just in case this comes out later, we're still on patch 2.103. And uh, this is going to be quite the exciting game on Hill. We decided to do sort of a, a user, the equivalent of a user submitted show because we've been doing a lot of shows with, uh, you know, much better players. And um, Vinsby got one by Micros, and I was like, eh, we, we can do that next week. I want to want to do one with more amateurs in it. And this is going to be one of those episodes where some people are going to tear their hair out going, why didn't he micro this way? Why didn't he build that? And, you know, what we're going to try and do is go around and say, well, in this situation, it's probably not a good idea to do this. Here's what they should have done. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Well, I'll, I'll probably be yelling at myself, too. Don't worry about that. <laughs> I'm just so terrible at this game, I just gotta say. So, without further ado, let me introduce myself. I am Mark Twain. Wait, I mean, um, Bridger. Adam Ruzzo, here on the Game Fire Network. And with me, as always, is my capable co-host, Vittensby. Welcome to the program. Bridger, I already know you guys won the game because there's two Panzer Elite players on the on Oh, your yeah, side. that is a giveaway, huh? That's just borderline hacks. Oh, and, uh, man, I can't believe yes. it. I should have thought of that. <laughs> I should have right. put yeah. one Panzer Elite guy. Okay, no. So Vittensby built his uh, new computer. I'm w running DX10 on Ultra, Ultra High. And uh, this is going to be awesome because I haven't really watched a replay in this kind of graphics quality oh, yeah. ever. You're going to want to use your alt key heavily. <laughs> and My just alt key. spin around and look at the cool stuff. You know, the, the one thing that I think Relic could do for us <laughs> I said, give us a debug version of the game so we can break the camera. Because I don't oh, know. Oh yeah, after, yeah, the pull way out. You're talking about. Yeah, after running like screenshots and doing video stuff at, at work all day, like yeah, I really want to break the, the that would be break the cool. camera. I, well, I, I all wouldn't right. mind if they made it so you could break the camera watching any replays. That would be kind of a cool feature. I don't know how hard that would be, but it probably wouldn't be too hard because I'm sure they have the ability to do it. All right. Yeah. So. Before we go into it, let me quickly point out, I'm on, we got, like like you said, we've got a, uh, a a Wehrmacht and two Panzer Elite players on the north here of Hill, and uh, we have a British on the right facing the Wehrmacht, and uh, we have two Americans on the center and the left. And I think, as was pointed out, in opposing fronts, they reverted to the broken version of Hill 331. If you notice, this plus 10 munitions point down in the south does not have any corresponding plus 10 munitions point in the north. So it could be that that extra plus 5 munitions throughout the entire game offsets the Panzer Elite advantage. Or they're just I'm, way too I'm not too broken. worried about it. <laughs> I mean, it'll be fixed. <laughs> We've had great matches on this. You know, the VCOH beta was fantastic. This was one of oh, my yeah. favorite uh, team maps. Yeah, and, uh, it's we well haven't done. had had this one on for a while, so I'm really looking forward to see how this plays out in OF. I personally haven't been playing 3v3s or 4v4s in a long time. Yeah. So. Uh, this, GG. this map is fairly typical of uh, this match is fairly typical of the map. There's a lot of fighting around the fuel points that are in the center here on the right hand and the left hand side. There's also a lot of fighting going on around the victory points to the left and right, and of course the victory point dead center is fought over quite a bit as well. So we'll see exactly how it breaks down here. I am Mark Twain, the Wehrmacht player here on the right, and uh, let us start it off. We're at the five second mark, unpausing in five, four, three, two, one. On pause. Now, this game actually got me worried because I noticed, um, you know, more than before. Like I knew, known in the past, that trenches made it difficult for snipers to snipe. But I had three snipers. Later on, you'll see three snipers shooting at a trench, and I didn't kill a single guy the entire time. <laughs> they, they were shooting at it for trench. a long time, and they didn't kill a single guy. They, 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 I think they at least got three rounds off each. They didn't kill a single guy. I mean, come on. I expect Trench maybe give them a little bit better protection from a sniper, but that's like bunker bugged back when the sniper couldn't hit shit inside a bunker either. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that'll probably be changed, so 
Uh, interesting, we have a weapon support center start in the center and barracks start on the left-hand side. We have a quick, uh, typical Brit strat. It looks like he's going for the fuel. You know, yeah. the British player probably will move his truck to the plus 10 uh, munitions point. If he doesn't, he's probably uh, semi-retarded. Oh, God, Bridger. <laughs> Bridger, what is this? What? I wholeheartedly agree, my good man. <laughs> There's no problem with plugging the show. Oh right, God, that's what I thought. So I was here's I was gonna hope to get a machine gun in this building, but uh, the side of the British on my side um, changed that particular strategy because obviously it's not gonna do much. Now probably I should have ran those pioneers closer to it to do more damage to it. As it was, they were able to only get about halfway damaged. Meanwhile, on the left. We have uh, a similar situation with the Panzer Elite Kettengrad uh, capping the point as engineers look on in distress. I don't know why they aren't charging it either, but it looks like we both both sides made the same mistake here. I went with a two pioneer start just because there's so much to cap early in the game on this map. And yes, uh, 8800 GTX for the win, dear God. <laughs> Stop drooling. <laughs> get, get it all over your monitor. <laughs> Sorry. All right, so here comes the machine gun team. That I decided to stick with my plan and see if they would be in the building would would give them enough cover to do enough damage to these guys in the trench over time. You can guess that I was wrong. I have a logistics company going up. Two logistics companies. Uh, it looks like we're going to see some hardcore Panzer Grenadier spam, or maybe. I really hope they're not building scout cars out of that. So we'll see what what happens. Yeah, maybe I wasn't paying attention a lot on the left early in the game, so I'm not sure what they were going. We'll have to find out. Yeah, yeah, Bridger, that wasn't a good idea on the no. right, but... Uh, no, I told you no. I suck at this game. This is like the first game I've played in God a God damn it, man. Would you stop saying that? You are the uber pro shoutcaster, all right? Yeah. Let's, let's leave it okay. at that. <laughs> let's keep it the looks like the Americans, the Americans are securing the, the left-hand side. Uh, I always say it, and I'll say it again. Where that uh, Gewehr 43 squad of Panzer Grenadiers is walking on the left by the plus 5 fuel, lay a mine right about there. And uh, you will kill something. That's a guaranteed kill. So well, they don't really have the ability to lay mines. As no, 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 no. I mean, like, if you're Americans in the south. That's oh, oh, send a mine. Send, a, send an engineer squad up there early. I see what you're saying. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So That's, that's stuff. So here's where I decided <laughs> that to counter this, obviously a machine gun's not going to work. And flaming pioneers are not going to get in there, especially because they're like, oh my god, fuchsia pants? No, I mean, pioneers with a flamethrower are not going to make it. So I decided to build three snipers just to see what would happen, and maybe that would be a decent counter. Because I know he's gonna, not going to base rush me, so I got some time. So I'll just build three snipers. Meanwhile, we're losing the right, and uh, we lost the control of the left uh, uh, resources here. The Americans are taking much of it back. We still got the center and the left VP, but that's probably going to change. Here's some hardcore scout car. Wait, that's the only one. So it's not really spam, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that scout car. Seems like a rather waste of uh, manpower to me, but I guess they might want to get an early OP with that. But they should have just had you do it because it's cheaper. Yeah. But we'll, we'll see what they end up doing. Um, but of can, course, their, can, can my OP shoot at things? <laughs> <laughs> well, it seems like the British player is uh, a bit of a wow. What the hell is that all about? Uh, anyways, we got a the Ford Ford HQ tr the truck. Dear God, <laughs> uh, put an observation post. Is is that actually OP'd? What what is that giving them? Oh dear. Oh Christ. my God, it's not. Wow. New beginning. New beginning. We okay, so let's let's just Nubicum. say if you've got a British player parking his HQ truck there, you should not build the observation post. Or I'm not sure which came first. If there's an observation post there, don't put your truck there. <laughs> but I'm not sure what came first, the chicken or the noob. Okay. But uh, yeah, no, nah, it's good times. You know, it's obviously a little bit of experimentation going on. Uh, early MG emplacement. That's actually not a bad uh, bad idea. Uh, certainly that that plus five fuel uh, is an early target um, early on I know that yeah. was kind of our strategy when we play in the north uh, to encroach on the the right hand side over there um, here we have an interesting also, battle shaping up on the left we got a couple of rifleman squads on the left versus a couple of Gvaird, um panzer grenadiers with an infantry half track in tow as well so they're about to clash 
Kettengrad down in the center. You know what's great about DX10 graphics all the way high up? <clears throat> the fire effect is oh, yeah. really nice. Yeah, it has kind of this, uh, like, wave, you know, like a real fire. It doesn't just look like this animated thing. It actually has kind of like this wavy uh, effect, distortion effect on the yeah. uh, on the map. Lieutenant going up against Kettengrad. <laughs> Half-health lieutenant. Yeah, I don't uh, know yeah. what the hell happened to him. I don't, I don't think, I think he might have got shot on the left here by some of these Panzer Grenadiers. Yeah. I mean, it looks like, you know, this is typical hill for the most part. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, you guys are kind of in the down right now. That fuel is uh, is really going to hurt you in the long run. Oh, yeah, they get lots of tanks. So here's my third sniper coming out. And sticky bomb on the infantry half-track on the really? left. Oh, there nice. it is. Yes, yeah, sticky bomb damaged engine. Missing the battle over okay. here. As you can see, I, I, we got I, a scorched earth already. I see this a lot, and, and I hate seeing this in replays. Please... Please put your Panzer Grenadiers in the infantry half track. No offense, okay? But if you're fighting a battle, there's no reason to not have a squad in there. I mean, it can carry it. It fights with the guys in there as well as shoots. There's no penalty, as far as I know. Put your squad in there. That's an easy way to get 120 kills against an American player, and they'll only get 5 or 10 against you. Yeah. So, like, I, that's, like, number one pet peeve of mine when I watch Panzer Elite players play with the infantry half track. They... A lot of them don't use it properly. Here goes, here goes the snipers. They're starting to fire. We've even got. This is what actually saves me is uh, my teammate came through with a, with an infantry or incendiary uh, mortar there, which is actually I think killed his lieutenant if I'm not mistaken. Um, but the snipers just continually missing again and again. The guys get out of the trench with all five intact, and it's only after they get out of the trench that they start actually getting hit by the yeah. snipers. That's kind of hacks. I mean, trenches are just freaking hacks, anyways. We have a steward out on the field. That's going to be interesting against all these Panzer Grenadiers. Luckily, you went tier two, which was a, definitely a smart move. Yeah. But on your part, you, you doing a two, tier two to four ish thing, or are you gonna? We're gonna see some Nibelwerfer action. I know you're gonna get a Stuka. Please tell me those things are so good right now. Uh, no, not, not unfortunately, that is not in the plan. It's a tier two to four strat. As it, as it unfolds, I didn't know exactly what I was gonna do until uh, until I got there as it were. But uh, I knew I wanted Grenadiers because if they were going to continue to use trenches, the only possible thing I had was grenades. Because um, obviously snipers are not working. <laughs> <laughs> but those snipers are going to serve me well throughout the rest of this campaign because he's going to never get a jeep over here, unfortunately, <laughs> for him. <laughs> yeah, it's, Finally, uh, the it's, trench it, bites it. It's an interesting opening. Um. That Stuart looks like it's going to give you guys some trouble right now. First veterancy on the Panzer Grenadier. Please retreat. He's going. Yeah, he's one going. thing to note is I don't know if he did. It doesn't look like you should always upgrade your veterancy before you retreat in a situation like yeah. that. Uh, Get sometimes the defensive bonus. Yeah, sometimes I mean you obviously make mistakes, but just wanted to point that out. We got a little bit of a Stuart spam going on. Uh, Jeep's coming up on the right. Uh, looks like. Uh, the American, one American's kind of going to go up to uh, Tank Depot really quickly, which is really smart uh, because, you know, obviously they've had all the fuel pretty much the whole game. So um, I think that might have been a canister shot, but I'm not sure. Um, he got he got over here, and I didn't have the munitions to get Panzer Shrek yet. I had one on a squad that I had to retreat earlier, um, mm -hmm. or one was building, so now uh, I got this. I, I lost the right again. I, I managed to take it, and my snipers are hiding over in the corner. You're just chilling. They're just gonna go chill for a while because the jeep's around. <laughs> I, I got really lucky with keeping the snipers in open position where they were able to escape most of the time. Wow, that's some. Uh, that was some carnage in the center. Yeah, right I just saw that. And, I, as and then I they just threw a grenade. The, all my drivers and Windows 32 bit, which I heard Windows 64 bit doesn't work with COH for some reason, or a few of my coworkers oh, are having problems well, with that. Well, the 64 bit version has a lot more driver restriction than the 32 bit in order to help prevent hacks and stuff and, and spyware from getting into your computer. All the drivers in the 64 bit have to be signed. And that's the way Microsoft wants to go to. However, um, if you do that, you lose a lot of compatibility with older versions, which is why they're only doing it in the 64-bit versions of their operating system. The next version will require that, but they're, they're sort of building up there in stages. So the 32-bit versions are still sort of compatible with the old stuff, but the new ones will only be uh, with, the, with the old stuff. So here we go. we got a couple of Panzer Shreks ready to go on the right. 
as I eat my pasta. And he's trying to flank behind me with some stewards. These oh, flaming nice pioneers player. are gonna help me. Look at this. Dang. You definitely need a canister shot right now. He does. He didn't. He didn't. Players. I'm not sure why he doesn't do it though. Double I probably would have screwed me. Uh, this is very, very risky. Definitely gonna lose at least one steward there if he's not careful. Yep, there is the first one. Oh boy. Wow. Luckily, stewards are really, really cheap on fuel. Cheapest fuel tank in the game. If you can even call them a tank. They're a tank, but you know what? They play more like a light vehicle than me. Just because it's a bad they idea. take damage. They, they take damage from uh, small arms fire, which kind of pisses me off if you shoot them in the rear. Kind of like the old M10, Pumas could, could shoot it. And, oh. Yeah, and flak relings also tend to, tend to damage it. It's kind of like a pseudo, really my, light armored tank. My snipers were trying to uh, sneak around and, and, and catch the enemy off guard, but a rifle squad found them out and they had to all retreat. I sent another machine gun team up here that just got flattened. Wow. He did a lot of damage though. Look at, there was a lot of dead corpses over here and the flamers really helped me out. They took one of my Panzer yeah. Shreks, those bastards. Definitely good Everyone's use of cover, door. Bridger. Got a, got I love that crater. Know. That crater's my friend. <laughs> so here comes a look at this rifle clump blob of doom here, attacking his plus five. I've gone terror, as you can see. I've got the uh, I've got the propaganda war, but not enough to use it. I look over here on the replay back. I'm like, oh, look at that! I could take it. <laughs> propaganda war for the win is the counter to the blob. <laughs> so now we lost the right again. It's a pretty decent back and forth on the right. There's there's a good bit on the left as well. When that, uh, as you said, the tank depot's out really early, and he's gonna. He think he's building a Sherman right now. Yeah. And personally, I've never preferred uh, <clears throat> an infantry based strat on this map. It's just really choke point heavy. A couple MGs well placed can uh, really like the one really he lock stole that down. from me. That yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah, the uh, Grim Reaper is kind of careless. He's uh, put himself into. Uh, this is the second engagement that I've seen. They definitely uh, cannot cannot really win. No, but here comes the other blob. Oh, he's got so blob. many Panzer Shreks, though. Look at that. That's probably going to hurt his output. Fire. Clumsy ninja, use your micro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Retreat! He should, he should. Run away! All right, here's here's the other assault on the right. Grenade coming in. Nice, well placed. All right, so now we got a couple of snipers back in here. Group Zeal, I hear. Ha, ha, ha. How did you know it was Group Zeal? You can hear that? I don't oh, know. Group Zeal, Group Zeal. I thought you meant my Terror Zeal. I'm like, how did you know? I clicked it. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, I guess the. Uh, I think I guess I'm on the the British. Am I on the British player? Probably. Uh, the hell. No, I'm not on the British player, but I heard it anyways. Well, we all know the replay system has a couple couple kinks in it. Wow, Sapper just took a grenade to the face and didn't get damaged at all. It was a little bit off, off of where it should have been. I did lose a sniper in that engagement, unfortunately. We got something going on in the middle here. Rangers owning it up with a nice grenade placement. Very nice. Here comes the Ranger spam. This is oh, typical of this American player. Left. Just lost the squad. Holy crap. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot of Rangers. Whoa! And they're just so beasty. I don't know what happened to those Panzer Grenadiers, but jeez, did they take a lot of damage. Whoa, oh, oh, man, what is that, the 1.3 Sherman? <laughs> hey, the Lucky Shot Sherman, that's what they call it. The Lucky Shot, yeah, his, his stuff was really bunched up. And oh, a Rifleman yeah. coming in you get to out. help finish. I guess he was going to try and build roadblocks across the way so that tanks couldn't get through, but... Wow, 11 kills on that Sherman already. Level oh, 1 veteran. Man. That's a lot. That's impressive. Of I mean, it just barely popped out. That's some Considering bad micro, unfortunately. I think he probably <laughs> rally pointed those Panzer Grenadiers down here and forgot about them. I do that all the time. <laughs> huh, unfortunately, things like that tend to happen, especially in big team games. Meanwhile, we're still uh, uh, losing points here. We, ha we held two victory points for most of the game. Now we're into the uh, negatives. We're still up by about uh, 80 points. Snipers are still helping me out in these engagements where it's squad versus squad, though. You know it could uh, help you guys out a little... What the hell? Mortar half-track on the left-hand side. Um, 
one thing that could help you guys out is a little bit more communication, definitely. Oh, yeah. I'm happy that there's no annoying chat. Go right, go right, no, you moron. No, 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 no. Go right, go right. You know, we don't need to hear stuff like that, but... So I'm kind of relieved that there's no uh, no party chat in this, but definitely you know talking to your teammates oh, yeah. kind of random can help out a lot. Even if it's just the Warcraft three style, you know, uh, fat, uh, hunts to bears, you know, type the strat bears, the bears, huntresses to bears. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a pretty even uh, resource wise. I've got a spike into the fuel on the right. They've got the fuel on the left. And we've got the munitions on the right. They've got the munitions on the left. And the right. Uh, reverse that. But now it's changing. I managed to get a squad over there finally to take it. Ready. Yeah, Clumsy Ninja should definitely. He's doing a great job repairing his tanks. Definitely, 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 definitely. Sorry, I have definitely, to say. Definitely but repair you need, the veteran you need tank. The, uh, you need the gunner on it. You want the 75 cal. Uh, the 50 cal. Or a 75 cal. <laughs> it Dude, 75 a cal for the win. And did someone use propaganda on those rangers, or did, was that just a needless retreat? <clears throat> uh, I think that was a propaganda, actually. Yes, it was, because my propaganda's nice. on cooldown. That was on the plus five, nice. right? I just I saw that same opportunity nice. as the last time, and I was like, yes! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got to be careful against a terror player. Ah, interesting, Bridger, getting Comcraft center up. What are you building from your Panzer Command right now? Uh, I think the first thing I'm putting out is a Panzer IV. And Sweet. I found this freaking sniper that I just can't kill right here. <laughs> he just keeps appearing and I find him and then he does this dodge. Look at that! What is that super speed <laughs> run around? He just turns into the flash for 10 seconds and he manages to get away. <laughs> so I finally managed to take him out with my sniper. <laughs> nice. I thought that was a Panzer Shrek shot to the face, but uh, that, that was just been nice. well played. <laughs> so I did manage to put the MG back in the building, which is going to help out here. Holy crap, that is a lot of Shermans. Oh, but this building's <laughs> about to get pwned by the artillery. Ah, oh, good night. <laughs> Those guys got rocked. I didn't even get a chance to, to get him out of there. The artillery is coming in way too fast. The stump, second shot you. pwned it. Holy blob of Panzer Grenadiers. Look at that. Oh, it's in the <laughs> middle, like, too. Yeah, wow, nice. does he have two of the 25 pounders? 25 pounds. Was Where's that a 25? Maybe it was a howitzer. It might have been off-map howitzer, actually, because we do yeah, have an it was infantry probably player. Off. Yeah, it was probably off-map howitzer. Dude, we have jeep spam going on from Nero. That's pro right there. <laughs> well, you know, I just Can keep you feel with those, the new uh, snipers. tonight? Snipers got eight kills now. <laughs> Bridger, if I don't say it, someone's going to say it. Wow, that was an infantry combat system moment on the old infantry combat system moment on the left-hand side. That was some annihilation right there. Holy oh, wow, crap. look at that. Yeah, there's like six bodies on the ground. <laughs> they went up in smoke. Now, look at this. I'm trying to sneak. I think this is the part where I'm trying to sneak my sniper down and help out my teammate in the middle, but there's just so many freaking jeeps. Look at this. I'm going down, and I'm like, oh, shit, jeeps. I'm just going to hide in the trees until they go away. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of action. Double double incendiary grenades off the Panzer Grenadiers. Might have been a triple. And, oh, wow, uh, look at it's going to kill that Ranger the, uh, squad. He's retreating right Sherman. through it. Made it. Holy crap. Crew repair vehicles nice. for the win. That's the armor player. Smart, oh, smartly went with armor God. because he chose armor. And the flamers the are doing toasting him. Look at this. Oh, oh, this is oh, havoc. Oh, oh man, that's some carnage right there. That's a lot of units. Because these guys on the left haven't been fighting at all. They've just been saving up. And this is the big, the big moment. Oh my God! Nice breakthrough on the left. Yeah, the Americans uh, really took that. Took that to heart. Yeah, and the Panzer Grenadiers got owned in the center. They're retreating with a sliver of health. Oh, jeez, yeah, look at that. That was uh, that was a well, well, well executed double push. Yeah. Um, by, by the by the Allies. Now my my side's the only one that's doing anything decently now. <laughs> we got the sniper still there, making some more kills. Yeah, rocking. <laughs> this Grenadier squad, I think this is the one that stays alive most of the game too. Sniper ready to engage. He gets a lot of kills. God bless the half track. And I did a lot of upgrading where I did an upgrade with a uh, with a single Panzer Shrek and a single MG, uh, LMG, and it worked out a lot because the LMGs really helped me. Yeah. I'm, I'm single veteran C on tanks and infantry, which is nice. I'm surprised that they didn't put uh, a truck or an OP on that plus ten. 
it's not a big advantage, you know, the plus ammunition. Yeah. Also, they should picking up that Panzer Shrek on the on the left yeah. uh, give themselves a little bit of AT option. Uh, we do have a Hetzer on the field, so I'm guessing we had a left hand side tank hunters player. Yeah. Interesting choice. Um, can be pretty effective. I don't know about in a three v three. I probably want to get that quick Yog Panther out. Um, I don't, and we do have a Martyr. Nice. That's going to be uh, interesting if it, if they set it up on the uh, you know the long roads on the sides. Holy crap! That's a lot of uh, a lot of roadblocks. Panzer Shrek picked up in the middle by the Rangers. <laughs> <laughs> As if they needed more. AT I know, options. right? <laughs> that gives them a plus seven as opposed to four. Nice. Wow. That's a beast. Yeah. And now this is a bad idea that my Panzer here gets <laughs> buttoned. But look how okay. useless, compared to I me, mean, like Panzer Shreks, look how useless these freaking uh, uh, Piots are. Piot. I mean, uh, this thing would have been obliterated yeah. if it was a Panzer Shrek already. It would have been gone. They've got two Piots here. Yeah. And it's going to well, get I away. I think with the Piots, they, they have a Piot ambush, and also, I mean, the button yeah. is just like practically guaranteed death. What is he doing with these jeeps? I don't know. He's shooting at Locked. a tank. You got a micro. You got to block the Panzer IV. Make <laughs> sure you get that all important kill. Remember when we did the basic training and you were blocking uh, my, I think it was my M10 or yeah, something? Yeah, I was trying to block it with a bike or something, right? With a bike. Yeah, it was fun. Oh. Oh, he's losing so many squads on the left. One of them's double veterancy. Get it out of there. Oh, man. Panzer Shrek present on the floor, quoted from the uh, great X interp. Good luck to him in RL, by the way. IRL. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Armor and uh, armor command truck on the right. Yeah, that's a bad choke point to be pushed back to, and uh, Grim Reaper is really, really careless with his... I, I mean, I've seen him fight engagement after engagement and lose his stuff, so definitely... Oh, dear Christ, the Martyr just took out the Hetzer. Really? Yeah, I oh, think, no, I missed it! I definitely think that the that Grim Reaver can definitely work on his... Uh, if he's going to use this type of strat to uh, pay a little bit more attention to his squads and not fight losing battles, but... Uh, yeah. So hindsight, I'm, hindsight. Holy crap! There's a lot of stuff going on on the right. Yeah, My, this blob of right. rangers and uh, not rangers. I think it's actually sorry, the British. Uh, there were I thought there was rangers over here somewhere. Uh, yeah, there's a squad of rangers was over here along with two piots and uh, infantry sections managed to kill two of my Panzer IVs. I made them pay for it quite a bit, but there's three ranger squads full health on the right now. Yeah. Berger, I promise. I know I promised not to gloat, but my god, this computer was worth every penny. <laughs> this is the DX10 runs smoothly. Look at this. He's probably going at like 50 frames at least. Look at this little uh, like such a happy maze <laughs> he has to go through here. This would be the perfect <laughs> yeah, spot for an AT gun if if you know the 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 Axis player. Now, why is he retreating all of his stuff? That's what I'm wondering here. He's running all. Fair. I mean. He didn't lose that engagement up there, did he? I mean, he. Why does he retreat so far? That's what I'm wondering. He could have retreated the, the victory oh, point. On the right. On the left, I mean. On the left. On the right. That's propaganda war right there. <laughs> Look at those <laughs> Rangers run. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good. Good time. And a King Tiger's on the field. <laughs> I managed to get enough uh, resources to actually do that. And this guy oh, in the good. middle, I told yeah. him to cap it like three times, and I said. I'll just go cap this fucking middle point. He's got guys just uh, standing there. Who are you talking to, Grim, Grim Reaper? I guess whoever's got the guy standing there. Yeah, yeah. He need, he needs to improve on his infantry micro. You can see that uh, that that Panzer Grenadier has been sitting in that building next to that infantry half track for like the last ten minutes of the game. So yeah, not those big probably deal, shouldn't though. be there. It's all right, Bridger. The most interesting games are when you're handicapped. Yeah. So. Meanwhile, I got artillery falling on my tiger. Oh God, King Tiger, why? Why not? They didn't. If they didn't have that pans, no, I mean, like, if they didn't have that Panzer Shrek. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They'd have no chance. I mean, it, you, your point is noted. Buttoning right there. it and dropping artillery on it is not a bad idea, though. Oh yeah, that Whoa. right there was uh, lag, and AI took over for Grim Reaper, which is probably a good thing for our team, Without really. <laughs> yes, Grim Reaper. Ha ha ha. We lagged for like four minutes before it finally just said. He's gone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, our left-hand side here is suffering another allied attack. 
Unfortunately, it's only infantry. There's no supporting Shermans. He doesn't have the Rangers over there, so he just gets completely roasted. Two martyrs guarding it, too. That's probably why there was no infantry. Or no uh, tanks. Don't walk through the cloud of smoke. Oh, God. He's roasting his own men. Oh, my God. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, jeez. Sorry. El Noriega. <laughs> you know, those roadblocks. <laughs> he's trying to I use mean, scorched earth. He's trying. Uh, no, no, no. Now, if he had the capability to plant mines right there, I guess he does. He, no, if he has to go, is, what is it? No, because he's not tank hunter, so he can't get the teller mines. Never mind. Yeah, that's pretty crazy how many of those things you can get up if you just have a couple squads if you're using blob tactics. Yeah. It's, uh, I, I forget, what, what even destroys those? Just demo charges? Demo that's the charges only and just shooting at them for a long time. Yeah. So then I had to yell at him to actually go over here and cap, decap the forward HQ. That's all right. You tell him who's I'm boss and who's the general around here. <laughs> the guy that... <laughs> one of them said they do want the tails of here. There's a jeep just thoughtlessly walking in front of a Panzer IV and a Tiger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wonder how this one's going to end. I mean, VPs are pretty close. We got a, a Cromwell, which is not going to do much against the uh, King Tiger. Uh, oh, but wow. that artillery might. Ouch. And of course, it's making love with the half track, so it's gonna have a little hard time getting out of there. That's what half tracks do best. Oh, and there goes my mortar too. I wonder what they do inside the funk wagon, you know? <laughs> oh, here comes fire up on the rangers. Just instant destruction of the bunker. Look at that. Bazookas underpowered? Nah. If it was the sixties, I think we know what they did inside the funk wagon. If it yeah. was the uh, forties. It's a little bit more up to uh, speculation. Oh, no. there. The squad's still okay. got a Panzer Shrek. My Panzer IV is in trouble. I got nothing to heal now. I lost, uh, lost all the. Uh, huh. yeah. Look at this. <laughs> this is actually a very interesting game, just the way it's played out. It's not a. Uh, it, it, it's it's not boring, and it's got a lot of uh, interesting things. I think uh, just the two logistic companies start on the left for me is kind of unheard of. But I don't know. Maybe I don't play enough team games anymore. And dear God, the roadblocks are spam. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I you know I complain about scorched earth not being like really viable, but I'm just talking about a one v one. I mean, in, in team games, it's you know it's good. You know, getting the Hummel is really good, and roadblocks are nice, as you can see from this game. It's just you know competitively in one v one, why would you go it when you have so many better choices? So that's what's always been great about Zoh, right, Bridger? It's like if oh, you yeah. play 2v2s or 3v3s, everything's pretty much, you know, viable and everything's interesting. Yeah. I mean, w with limit, you know, with within reason, but uh, Cromwell's backing up. Meanwhile, oh, I'm getting my ass handed to me on the VP, oh, and I didn't notice. Main gun destroyed. How dare you lose your main gun in the heat of battle? Charge. I don't know why he's charging with these. Oh, he's got a Panzer Shrek on that one. That's why. Not Actually, anymore. <laughs> How many kills has that tiger got now? Ten. Uh, a ten and a. G. My Panzer IV's doing more kills than the tiger, though. Surprisingly. Oh my god, that's a lot of roadblocks on the left. He's not done yet. <laughs> please, please say it. I, I know you want to say it, and that is why the roadblocks. And that is why. And that is. Oh my god, that is why the roadblocks are ridiculously stupid. Okay, moving on. <laughs> now we've got more Piats. Three more Piats going up against the King Tiger. Now, King Tiger does lots of damage, but it just shoots so slowly, which is why it's not got quite as many kills until now. That was a nice three-shot hit. Yeah, you gotta get those rear armor hits on it. Its front armor is pretty much impenetrable. <laughs> as oh, you yeah. just saw right there. And it's still been taking so much damage, I haven't had a chance to repair the damn thing yet. You know so what would be awesome in the next COH, <laughs> next COH expansion? When you get a shell deflection, it bounces right back at you and blows up. <laughs> I'd be so, so awesome to see that. Like, even if it was just for a patch, and even if it was just called a bug, I, I would love <laughs> to see that. Yeah. Oh, this is a big push on the right. We got two Shermans pushing with these Rangers. We could call that the new tank combat system. <laughs> they push in with the, with the Cromwells, they got a big chance. This Look at this machine gun squad. It's just been holding them down this whole time. Yes. 
That's uh, that's gonna be uh, when he gets back to Berlin. He's gonna be awarded the uh, Knight's Cross. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> now we're in trouble. They're pushing forward. I still haven't had a chance to repair my King Tiger. But the Martyr is very important in this battle. There it goes. Yeah, the Martyr P4 King Tiger. A little bit of Pioneer action with Panzer Grenadiers. Hey, look, the AI is doing that. Nice. The AI is blobbing? Oh, no, the AI is, uh, is repairing your stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not bad. I didn't realize I was playing with an AI player until now. <laughs> like, I didn't know, realize this battle was being played with an AI player. I thought he was on the left. A grenadier grenade just annihilated a lot of those rangers. And look at that concentrated fire from a Tiger and a Panzer IV just obliterates those rangers. Got the, the blob on the left-hand side. That is a lot of guys. Oh, jeez. <laughs> he lost two squads retreating there. You know it would be awesome? Three Panzer Elite players doing like oh. a roadblock rush. <laughs> road block Panzer rush. Grenadier spamming like 2v2s and just roadblock rushing. You heard it here first, folks. <laughs> you heard it here, Volks. This Tiger's got 25 kills now. Nice. Well, I stole a bazooka good. with these Grenadiers at some point. <laughs> Look at all these piots that got dropped. There's like three of them oh, on the nice left here. Oh, nice place grenade. Woo! It, it destroyed whatever that was. I think that was a <laughs> Yeah, that killed a lot steward. of guys. Stewart, I think. Look how slow the Tiger repairs, too. These guys have been repairing this Tiger for like a minute Did you and see a half how now. good that AI micro was? Yeah. It's like, it's like, it's got those those twitchy reflexes that I love so much. Oh, man, Bridger, you got to get those piots right by the infantry half track. You got to get those things. Dude, I don't have much infantry. Look at this. I mean, I've already got my, the, the the squads I have already have heavy weapons. Get pioneers then, man. Pioneers. <laughs> They're already busy building, repairing, strapping more armor on my King Tiger. Well, they are nothing. You don't understand. The All right, we got the M26. We got a Pershing, Pershing and a Firefly standing right next to each other. Now, that's a lot of tank bust and power right there. And an M8. Versus we a severely weakened Tiger. This is going to be... Looks like we had an off-map combat group going on. I mean, VPs right now are 247 to 207, so... This battle is going to be massive. Pretty close game. We got an AT gun in the background. I mean, theoretically, the ax the allied player should win this. We've got... <laughs> look at we got... Theoretically? A regular Sherman, a Firefly, a Pershing, an M10, and an M8. If, I'm now, I've got triple veterancy Panzer IV, oh but I just sacrificed it because I didn't realize those tanks were there. I, I came back it. later and go, wait, where did my Panzer IV go? Didn't I have <laughs> That's one over right. here? M8 got exchanged for that. Not not a horrible trade. Firefly. The martyrs are going to save me right here. Again, oh, depending upon my AI teammate. That's a lot. That's a lot of tank carcasses on the right. Yeah. <laughs> that is a lot. I wish I had spare pioneers for. Uh... Come on, Mr. Pershing, run him over, get some EXP. Yeah. <laughs> That's so weird. There's another Panzer Strike drop. I bet that one has changed hands like six times so far. Meanwhile, <laughs> the King Tiger's still sitting in the back being repaired by two squads. It's at half health now. <laughs> What's going on in the middle? We got the blob. Oh, it's forever to repair. And and I don't have a lot for propaganda now to help out at all in these battles because I've been spending so much on the on the upgrades. I probably should have saved a little more. But those uh, the the weapon packages on my grenadiers have been really, really useful so far, especially the Panzer Shreks. But the uh, the LMGs have been helping out a lot too. Yeah. Now this is look at this. If they drop the shell and it landed right here, <laughs> I'd be in big trouble. Now, I think this is just some bad coordination by these players. The Firefly's up there. The per Pershing actually got continually shot by the Martyr. Just shot again and again and again until he finally realized it was damaged. And then he was like, oh, okay, 20% charge with the Pershing. Wait, what? <laughs> I'm focusing right now on the, on the center. I mean, these Panzer Grenadiers are pretty much going to annihilate everything that's going to oh, come yeah. that way. That's just way too Even many the Shreks. Sherman's and, trying to uh, come help. I believe that player went uh, El, El Noriega. Uh, Noriega, whatever. Anyways, uh, 
he went uh, left side of tank hunters, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So he's got double the Shrek, double the fun. Yeah. Oh. AT gun on the right, trying desperately to back up. I don't know how the hell it got that far up, but. And look at that, Bridger. It's all defensive veterans. See. Hmm. No. Really? Wow. Oh, well, part partly blue. There's a Panzer Grenadier squad that has offensive veterancy. But uh, I love the I love the triple veterancy Panzer fours. They look so cool with the side skirts on them and the gunner on top. Oh yeah. And here comes the Pershing. Are you ready for this? Allied gay machine. Oh shit! Oh shit! No! Fire at the ground! Damn it! Oh! I, said, <laughs> I tried to say fuck. I don't know what the hell that is. <laughs> It's not I, big pickle, Bridget. <laughs> look, I, I, I actually did get my tiger to shoot at the ground, <laughs> so it's still shooting at the ground, but it was it, the last shot it did before I could change oh, it. Sweet. What's this thing in the Got middle? A, this it's big Winchell thing on... Donuts Combat Air Is support. that what that is? Okay. But I guess he doesn't realize. <laughs> Wait a minute. No, it can't be, because nobody's Luftwaffe. So what's this big thing in the middle? I, I wonder if when I say that, or you say that, that anyone gets a craving for donuts. <laughs> what are you doing about donuts anyway? What do you say donuts? I've never seen donuts anywhere. It just says Vincent. I don't know. It was just some, some random bullshit that came out of my mouth that uh, <laughs> I didn't like, so I just repeat it over and over again. But I still want to know what this is on... on. There's a big yellow spot. I mean, is that... If he's Scorched Earth... Sector Scorched artillery. Earth has Sector Artillery. Is that what that is? I think that's it. Yeah. And is that overkill. what the big white thing is on the radar? I was wondering that. No, uh, that's Winchell's Donuts Combat Air Support. It can't be As because we have tank hunters there. and because we have Scorched Earth. Well, then that's what we call... Uh, oh, you know what that is? Maybe... Um, uh, that's uh, from the British from player. The British. Or yeah. either Hummel. Yeah, it, it's the Hummel, I believe. Um, no, no, it's I think It's the British Overwatch, I think. Overwatch yeah, Artillery, it's, I bet, it's, is what it is. Yeah, it looks like it. Because it keeps going off. Yeah. Meanwhile, uh, he's got another Pershing, I think. Unless we killed that one. No, there's the Pershing that got the Allied War Machine to Pershing. Sniper's slowly picking off my machine gun squad. I'm trying to try and run it over with the, with the Tiger. Actually, but it runs Bridger, away. that was Sector Artillery. I stand corrected. It was Sector Artillery? Yeah, because he moved it. Ah, uh, it's just weird. That's just weird. And now he doesn't control the sector anymore. So it How turned useful. it off? Oh, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, sector artillery is more powerful than everyone ever imagined. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's clearly, you know, not meant to be used on a strap point. But, These jeeps you know. are chilling in the corner. We down in the bottom. Lot. God, Tiger's back at full health, baby. 27 kills. Those Piots are still there, and we got a Yog Panther, which the comp AI is controlling, thank god. And, uh, got another Pershing. <laughs> oh man, that's just making me laugh, that the, uh, that the <laughs> Sherman can micro straight through the roadblocks. It's like, I'm gonna set it up at some random ass angle, and it's not gonna do anything. And then, you know, like, you're gonna get through, and... And smoke a cigar on top of your Sherman saying, <laughs> Ah, we outsmarted them. <laughs> <laughs> well, what I the mean, hell? Oh, we got a mine here, too. Teller mines. Oh, he ran right by it and it didn't explode. That's disappointing. That would have probably... Does Teller mine... Oh, wow, we got a... Uh, there's the Yacht Panther, yeah. I didn't even notice it before. You shall not pass. <laughs> Uh-oh, here we go. Left-hand side's exploding. We got a Sherman again. <laughs> Going around, this is like, oh no, was that was that martyr? Yeah, martyr. Yeah. But this is like, what is this? This is the. Uh... It's Carmageddon. <laughs> Carmageddon. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what this is? This is uh, the wall, the the fortifications. What do you call them in France? Oh. Imagine <laughs> line. Imagine no line. line. They're like, look, you cannot yeah. get past us. Ha ha ha. Like, oh, we'll drive around. Shit, I didn't think about that. <laughs> Oh, that's rich. That's rich. I wonder. Right there. I wonder. Oh, I was gonna say maybe, maybe the roadblocks also detect stealth, like the bob wire. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this is this is crazy. Yeah, you guys look like you might have it in the bag uh, at this point. 
Yeah. Charge. That that last push on the right with the pens with the pushing and stuff was their best bet. Is that a Hummel now going off? There it is. Yeah. Oh god, the particles, sweet particles. <laughs> and the blob is coming. <gasps> Six squads. Bum, 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 bum. I only have one of my grenadier squads out of four of them is actually been in combat. All the others are like brand new. <laughs> <laughs> no yeah, kills. you're just chilling, chilling on the right. Not a bad plan. Yeah. We got uh, Imba Trench Warp. I can't set oh, up my uh, machine guns because they're dropping artillery on them. Makes me very. Unhappy. You know, I always, uh, I always thought the. Uh, Center of Hill was a tough nut to crack, but never really considered what would happen if you put trenches. <laughs> oh there. yeah, look at this. <laughs> oh baby, Imba to the max. And like doesn't get much worse than that. Another bunch of infantry <laughs> sections that could just chill behind the sandbags too. Oh, well, we got some interesting uh, action going on. Uh, earlier, right now, I think uh, you guys are probably should just hold your territory and uh, yeah, you know, just uh, finish finish it off. Very, very interesting game. I really so liked it. My, I think my favorite part, and this is a pure joke, Bridger, so don't get offended, was when uh, Grim Reaper dropped and the AI took over. But that was a joke, Bridger. You can give me your side. Well, I thought it was funny, too. Okay. <laughs> <Good>. <laughs> oh, he's got booby traps on that. I can't wait to see what happens. <laughs> Somebody go take it. Come on. Oh, never mind. The Shearmans are running. Oh, he put, I didn't even realize the, the AI put teller mines there. Thank you, AI. Putting t teller mines here, too. It's like, well, let's just put teller mines right next to the, uh, the, the control points, or the, 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 the fuel points. Like, what? Why are vehicles going to run next to the control point? Yeah, well, you got lots of munitions. Whoa, whoa, what in God's name is that? What is he laying? Is that like triple, no. Is he putting like triple uh, booby traps on that? What the hell? Where? Uh, I don't know, all those Panzer Grenadiers on the left were laying it at the same time. Oh wow, that's weird. I wonder if he just like drag selected them and told them all to lay it. Now, here's oh, the thing. Where's the other Pershing that he got? Did he lose that in an attack somewhere? Because I never saw it used. He must have lost it. We got a uh, Panzer Elite P4 coming out. Interesting. The Cromwell runs right into a Yagged Panther and Martyr. Says, I'm going to go around to the right here. <laughs> Here comes the massive counterattack, the one chance to take back what is ours. And they don't have a lieutenant on the right. What will they do? Oh my god. V1 in the middle. The middle. I dropped it on the trench because I saw them attacking. I'm like, that trench is going to last a while. I'll drop a V1 there. Oh wait, there's nothing there. <laughs> <laughs> By the time it gets there, look how useless it is. <laughs> useless is I dropped it on a full trench of guys. <laughs> And here's another reason why you should not just charge a Tiger tank and Panzer Shrek Grenadiers with Shermans. And the Mortar, I believe, took it out. <laughs> look at that, look at that, they're still repairing. <laughs> I want to see them come back from the dead. I had this whole plan, I had the Panzer IV in reserve that was going to charge around behind them, but I didn't even have to. They just Here comes the second wave that should have been there like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> Thanks for the Lieutenant not being there. Oh, they, you can disable VPs? What the hell? I didn't know that. Disable Yeah, you disabled the victory point. How do you mean? With Scorched Earth disable ability? Yeah, disable How do you know? victory point. Because I saw it say disable point and it's on fire. <laughs> and it looks broken as hell. Huh. Center VP. Shows Maybe. you how much I play that, uh, that uh, doctrine. Oh yeah, because it shows them repairing it right now. You're right. It is on fire. Yep. Interesting. Maybe that makes it a little more useful. So, there's my sportsmanship for the match. 
Yes. But uh, that was that was a pretty good back and forth, I thought. Oh, um, definitely. The Jeeps finally come <laughs> to the aid. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> All right, so look at how much stuff was left at the end, too. Like, yeah, the allies game probably really should have charged a little bit more at the end. There's the Pershing. What the heck was it doing? Oh, they were trying to repair the victory point in the middle. I, but, I mean, uh, even though there was a lot of stuff left, I, I mean, I think you guys had a pretty decisive victory yeah. over them at this point, even with the uh, King Tiger AI. with 30 kills. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, and if anyone would like to tell me, why does my 8800 GTX make this sound whenever what I'm brand playing did you games? Get? EVGA. I like EVGA. I, I have two EVGA, EVGA 70, two. 7800s. Yeah. If anyone wants to tell me why it makes a buzzing noise, like, I know it requires a crap load of power, but any uh, tips would be appreciate, appreciated, because uh, it's really annoying. And, uh, you know, Rogers, right, who's probably going to be on the show probably next week, he uh, he has the same exact computer as me, and he says his 8800 doesn't make that noise. I don't know. Take him, Keep in mind, I have a 1,000 watt power supply. Oh, jeez. Uh, so, yeah, that might be part of the reason. All right, but. so favorite moments of this replay, I think my favorite moment, one of my favorite moments is when the guy put an observation post where the HQ was or vice versa. I think that was a good moment. <laughs> <clears throat> um, my favorite moment was all the pasta I ate during that replay. I don't know if you could hear it, Bridger. No, that and was I, an excellent now? disguising until now. So you've yeah, totally so given I, it up. I swear it was pasta and not something else. So... <laughs> Um. Okay. Hey, a calamity. Match wrap, match wrap up. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, we're definitely well played by both teams, uh, despite some interesting strategic choices and poor charges. I mean, that's just bound to happen. I, I really enjoyed. Um, I think the player of the match is definitely you. I think you really <laughs> held down your side and and stayed competitive and never really lost your ground, except for that one point where like everything was over there. Um, I definitely want to give uh, second place to the expert AI. <laughs> as it's, <laughs> oh, it saved my ass a couple just of got times. It. Just for style points, you know, the way it was microing that half track, I just got to give it well, a little yeah, bit. Well, yeah, because it's looking at the code and going, oh, well, if I just tell it to click through there, then it will yes. back up like a fucking retard into the yeah. enemy line. Yeah, the expert AI gets that back that ass up award <laughs> for this replay. <laughs> And uh, Bridger gets the. Uh, it's got the 600 APM. Of course, it can micro perfectly. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you know what's interesting is someone actually came out with a mod <laughs> for uh, you can revert back to 1.71 and then back to vanilla COH, kind of like the. I'm sorry, um, uh, opposing fronts. So it's kind of like the old multi version tool, which stopped being updated. But um, I saw it on Relic News. So I like the multi version tool. That's kind of disappointing. I think the 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 third place has to go to the V1 rocket which was targeted on a full <laughs> trench of bad guys. And by the time it got there, neither the trench nor the guys remained. And there was I, a I guess, post that someone made that the V1 doesn't do anything to trenches. So it did men in trenches. Like really? they took half damage. Is that like yeah. that, 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 that movie we <laughs> made so Sherman long ago smoke. with the Sherman smoke and the V1 falls and it does nothing? Yeah. Well, we can test it out, you know. We'll put it in the basic uh, training video, like opposing fronts bloopers, and we'll just call it the V1 <laughs> over and over again. <laughs> Boy, yeah, crikey, put, they're dropping could, a nuke on us. Um, we could like use Windows. Just uh, hide underground. <laughs> Windows Movie Maker and edit it. Put like a put a little screen like they're talking. Oh, what's that buzzing sound? It lands another screen. Oh, nothing. Just a one. <laughs> so. Oh shit. Oh yeah. So yes, you know, definitely back and forth action like you were like you were saying, and it was a good replay to have on the show. I mean, it shows strengths and weaknesses, errors and. Uh, well executed attacks. I was really impressed by uh, how the allied team uh, really worked together on their pushes, and I think you guys had had a similar dynamic going on as well. Yeah. Uh, There's a good chemistry though. Well, but I, I think I definitely you could think say that they worked well with me. I didn't really do much except go cap the middle when the fuck tar is <laughs> like. Durr, I'm gonna leave all the units around all over the map. I don't know what I've got. You're you're so the <laughs> you're the blue one guy. <laughs> <laughs> Who was uh, what was the doctrine or the company choice? I mean, we excuse <clears> me, we <throat> saw armor infantry, but I don't know. Was it double armor and infantry? No, so I didn't, it, it was, was a double infantry and armor. 
It was artillery know. on the uh, the British was the Royal Canadian Artillery. Oh, uh, duh. Yeah, see, I'm. Uh, That's why I'm pretty I'm sure talking. it was Overwatch fire. The yellow was the was the sector artillery. I'm pretty sure that that circular weird thing on the mini map was Overwatch. I don't know why yeah. we got to see it. Probably because the fog of war was on, uh, or off rather. But yeah, it was infantry armor and then uh, artillery for the British versus uh, uh, terror tank hunters and scorched earth. I was surprised how early I got my tiger out. I was like, wow, I'm really close to a tiger like partway through the game, and it got. A lot of use. Yeah, you micro that tiger really well. And I again, learned from that match that we played together. You remember? I was just like charge, and then it just did a spiral of death. <laughs> and it was gone. And it was yeah. gone. Yeah. Interesting times. I'm gonna go install Call of Duty Four. Check that out. And uh, you know, I don't really like FPS all that much, but I don't know. This one's supposed to be good, so we'll see. Yes. Boom! GG. Headshot. There you go. All right. <laughs> I think that uh, concludes our crazy, silly match of the month for today. If you're watching this, you're probably watching it on the new, improved Game Fire. We've got a lot of new, great stuff in there for you. If you want to send us a replay that you want to see on the show, please post it in the new Game Fire forum section. Go to thegamefire.com. Go to the forums. Look for the Tales of Heroes forum. There's a sub forum called uh, Video Replay Review Submissions. So go ahead and post it in there. And uh, that that we would love to get it from you, and uh, you know, post relevant information. The more information you post about it, the more likely we are to pick it. Because you know, I'm lazy, and I go through, and if I see somebody just post a replay and says this was awesome, and another replay says it's on this version, it's got you know, this these are the doctrine choices, these are the ranks that the guys have played. Here's all the great stuff that happens in it. I'm gonna go with the one that I know what's about, right? I don't want to go through and watch a whole ton of stuff. I don't want to go through and check all the doctrine choices ahead of time and ruin my experience of watching it for the first time while we do the cast. So give us the information and you're much more likely to be on the show. Uh, other cool points, you can now upload your own videos at GameFire.com or add them if you've got a bunch of videos you put on YouTube or you've got some other gaming related videos that you wanted to upload. Go ahead to, to our uh, on-demand media system and it's right there linked on the top. It's still in beta, we're still working on it. So send us any feedback that you want to uh, to tales of at GameFire.com. Podcast links are up for the audio and the video, which is awesome. So go ahead and grab them. I have Tales of Heroes now on my iPod Touch. It's amazing, as Vittensby might say. <laughs> so uh, thanks, guys, for tuning in. That's a wrap for Vittensby. I am Bridger signing off for GameFire.com. <laughs>